Okay, so good afternoon everyone and welcome again to our another audio lecture on the topic uh, or on the subject cell and molecular biology. Okay, so this is topic number three and this topic is all about the cell cycle. So again, this is Edward Lawrence Pena, your course instructor. Okay, so um, when you talk about cell cycle, uh, this is actually one of the things that uh, we can think that can make us appreciate reproduction okay, or the continuity of life. Okay, because take note that uh, an organism's ability to re reproduce is one of the main characteristic of living organisms. Okay, so the process of reproduction is best understood in the, at the cellular level. Okay, so the purpose of cellular reproduction or other reproduction, reproductive processes is that it can save or it can allow the continuity of uh, the number of species or the, the, the species, the continuity of species in the environment so without any reproduction or reproductive cycles or cell cycles uh, species will face extinction okay so in nature different organisms follow different reproductive modes yet all have the same goal and that is to pass to the next generation the needed molecular machineries and ensure the survival of the respective species Okay, so it is only through reproduction that can save species from extinction. That is why um, in conservation centers, they always, uh, kind of my conservation centers, for example, Philippine Eagle Foundation okay, and other conservation centers, they actually, um, this, uh, they actually aimed that the species could uh, successfully reproduce within their uh, within that vicinity then those vicinities okay so take note that um, in this topic we only discuss primarily um, mitosis and meiosis so um, the objectives of module 3 are the following identify the different activities between mitosis or meiosis and interface Identify the second one, identify the major differences between mitosis and meiosis. And third is describe the significance of cellular reproduction for the continuity of life. Okay, so let's go now to mitosis. So mitosis is just a part of what is known as the cell cycle. So mitosis uh, is just, it's not the entire cell cycle. Mitosis is just part of the cell, cell cycle. Okay, so cells do multiply by dividing themselves. Okay, so can you see, um, even though nga makita na to ang reproduction dito, kan dito ang reproduction sa species, for, in for instance, um, animals, specifically humans, we only say that um, they reproduce ang human when we see a woman getting pregnant or na deliver na ang bata, nigawas ng bata. But reproduction is actually best understood as uh, mentioned in the introduction. It is actually best understood at the cellular level. So, kato siya. So, cellular at the cellular level, kaning reproduction sa human beings um, ni undergo ni sa isi sa mitosis and meiosis. Okay, so mitosis can be observed in somatic cells. Okay, kaning mitosis. So when you talk about somatic cells, these are non gametes or the non-sex cells. So, for a male, for a male, um, all cells in the body except for the sperm cell. And for the female, somatic cells are all cells in the body except for the egg cell. So, kana siya those those cells, most of the cells in our body underwent uh, mitosis except for the gametes. So, <coughs> take note that at the end of my mitosis. Two daughter cells are expected. Each of these cells inherit the, the same genetic material from parent cells, thus the daughter cells are clones. Note that genes can only be altered when there is mutation. So mitosis, kung is mitosis, with if we talk about mitosis, is na akai parent cell, and then at the end is mo clone ang katosyang parent cell, nga mahimo siyang duhaka cell. So that's 
um, ang isa kasal mahimong tuso that's actually um, clones okay so makadungog tagan ng clones kan bitang exact copy okay so kung ingon ta is kung motana ta um, is cloning real or are clones real the answer is yes okay because cells in our body somatic cells in our body are actually clones okay so the thing about mitosis is that iyahang gi retain kung unsa ang quality sa um, genetic material the quality and the quantity so everything tanan yud nga everything sa iyahang genetic material has been retained kay giingon na siya clone that is why the only way for the alteration of this gene of the genes or the genetic makeup of somatic cells is through mutation okay and so, yeah, so uh, there are different phases that can be recognized by the different structures formed and note that in mitosis massive intracellular structures are expected particularly in the genetic material so in topic number two uh, we discuss the different cellular structures and we specifically discuss also in topic number two uh, the centrioles and we will we will uh, discuss later on the functions the further the functions of the centrioles okay so mitosis is mostly observed in multicellular organisms okay you can see yeah so in mitosis you can see that there are two major phases okay so first is the interphase which is the longer phase and the second one is the mitosis phase or the mitotic phase or the m phase okay short term let's see, yeah where in fact there are some estimates that the interface accounts 90% of the total cell cycle and only 10% for uh, mitotic phase. So you would notice in figure uh, 3.1 in your handout, okay, so that's the illustration of um, the cell cycle of the animal cell. So, so mitosis, so you will notice there that mitotic phase is shorter compared to the interface. Okay, um, also in 3.2 figure 3.2 um take a look at that one the daughter cells the two daughter cells contain exactly the same um genetic material to that of the parent cell okay so the interface so about 80 percent of the cell cycle is interface so matatong dimension ganiha nga 80 to 90 percent kana siya so this is the preparatory phase of the cell for division since it since theoretically it doubles all its content so maogin itong kiman lang ha nga the interface is the preparatory phase and then ang iyahang iyahang aim ana is to double everything because take note that at the end of mitosis there are two daughter cells that that must have that should have the same amount of genetic material particular genetic material but not only genetic material but also cellular contents okay so get double niya tanan okay so molecules and of course the dna so the cell at this time is expected to increase its size so during interface you would expect that there will be cellular increase okay in terms of young size okay so the interface has three sub phases you have the g1 you have the s phase and the g2 phase and we will be discussing these sub phases one by one okay so in g1 phase this is known as the first gap okay monagitawag siya g1 okay so the gap refers to the inactivity of dna okay so monang ana gap walay activity ang dna so this is between g1 um, occur between the end of the cell cycle and the start of the synthesis phase kana siya okay however there is a massive accumulation and synthesis of molecules Thus, cell growth is expected. So, in G1, there is no synthesis of DNA. Okay? Walay, walay activity ang DNA whatsoever. However, what are being synthesized or accumulated or being doubled are those molecules that are not uh, related to DNA. Okay? So, gidouble niya if naasiyay 4 kabok mitochondria, then himo niyang 8. 
Okay, so ang iyang cyto, ang network of cytoskeleton or ang ribosome, let's say ribosome is na siya 10, himuon niyang 20. So, all of these molecules that are non-DNA are being doubled. Okay, so what else? So, as a result of this accumulation or the doubling of the number of molecules and other cellular cargoes, so mana nga mo expect og cellular growth. Okay, so next is DNA monomers are also being accumulated together with its associated proteins. Okay, so mga nucleotides, okay, di ba ang mga nucleotides, these are the building blocks of DNA. So, ginaform na, na niya dito, ginaaccumulate na niya. This is in preparation of the next phase, which is the synthesis phase, which is the doubling of the chromosome. And we will be discussing that one in a little while. Okay, so, monosia, so DNA monomers are also accumulated together with associated proteins. What else? Energy source are also being stored. Okay, so, um, kinimanggong gitawag na to og mitosis, this is a massive cellular activity. So, that is why it needs enormous amount of energy para ma-process or ma-complete ang cell cycle. Okay, so, cells won't proceed to the next phase. If the materials inside the cell are not sufficient for the formation of two cells. So, this is one of the incredible things that we can uh, learn sa kaning sa mitosis. Because the cell itself will ensure nga, nga both the two cells will have um, exactly the exact amount or the exact quantity of molecules and genes. So, there are a lot of times nga kanang gitawag na to uh, mo stop siya dili siya mo proceed into the the mitotic phase if dili complete ang tanan if dili doubled ang tanan okay so what else? so the insufficiency of intracellular materials may result to a cellular arrest or also known as the G0 so this is where the cells will stop okay nga dili siya mo proceed sa next phase which is the S phase if dili complete ang or wala ma, ma double ang tanan uh, materials inside the cell so ma arrest siya so G0 so this arrest or pause can last for hours weeks or even years it depends on the environment and the amount of accumulated material so mao na siya mag mag arrest so depende na siya sa materials kung kuno sa siya ma complete however there are some instances that um, sa kadugay na sa G0 nga wa gini ma complete ang materials the cell will not push through with the division. Okay? So, yun na siya. So, na siya ay uh, quality controller. Okay? Nagi siya itig ihap ng mechanism ang ato ang cells, ang ato ang somatic cells. Okay? So, if the cell found out ng complete na ang only double na ang tanan ng mga materials, Okay, and double ng tanan ng mga materials. It will then proceed to the next phase, which is the S phase. Okay, so S stands for synthesis. Okay, so also known as the synthesis phase. Now, take note that in the first phase, the, in the G1 phase, walay activity ang DNA, ang genetic material. Now, in the S phase, is din hinan nanay activity ang genetic material in which the DNA, okay, the DNA molecule is being duplicated. Ni double siya. So, ang G1 is katong uh, mga organelles and other molecules except for the DNA. Okay, mo na G1. Ang S phase is, it is the doubling of the DNA and not the genet not the organelles and other structures in the cell. Okay, so morag nag sila. Okay, so the doubling of the DNA <coughs> is significant since it's, it ensures that the two daughter cells will receive the same amount of DNA. Okay, so kato siya. So, dapat maghintuhagit para wag yung magmahay. Okay, so molecules that are related to the duplication of DNA are also synthesized, particularly proteins and enzymes. So, kana siya. Okay, so cells continue to grow and theoretically all molecules inside the cell in this phase is doubled okay so kay ni proceed naman siya sa doubling of the chromosome so may expect you ta nga, nga theoretically ni ha theoretically is that ni double na pud ang tanan nga molecular amounts inside the cell okay so once everything has been duplicated especially dna 
the cell is now ready for the next phase okay so the next phase is the g2 phase or the gap 2 phase this is now the second gap between two genetic activity in the cell so that's between the s phase and the mitotic phases so there is now this the second inactivity of the dna so this has been considered as the final checkpoint of cells and ensure that everything is set for cellular division and this is now the final final cellular growth where cellular growth can also happen here okay so uh, this is the gap two is the continuity of the cellular growth more continue uh, increase and size a cell and at the same time the final checkpoint okay so the fin final checkpoint of the cell uh, it check near whether everything has been prepared everything has been doubled and everything is set okay for the distribution of uh, these molecules to the two doctor cells okay so money lang in on ang mitosis is this is uh, multiplication via division okay multiplication via division ni ang kinikita ng atong mitosis okay so granting that everything is uh, okay so after g2 phase then it is now ready for the n phase okay so again just a little review so ang ato ang interface which is longer than the m phase has three subphases first is the g1 phase second is the s2 s phase and the g2 phase is the, as the third phase okay so you you have there in figure 3.3 the illustration there of the um, uh, interface okay you have the g1 the g0 is the cell cycle arrest an S phase, each of the 46 chromosome and the uh, reference of human cells is duplicated by the cell and the G2 phase, the cell double checks the duplicated chromosome for error making any needed repair. So, aside from the checking kung kulang ba or uh, yan, kung kulang ba ang kaning materials sa, sa cell, so ihapon ning G repair if ever nga na ay mga damage this is the the final uh, repair um, phase of the cell okay so kana siya so in figure 3.4 you would notice there the different activities of the cell okay especially in mitosis okay so before we discuss the m phase let's visit first the the uh, figure 3.5 take a look at that one so if the cell, di ba, during the time sa katong wala mag wala mag divide ang cell, katong wala siya mag divide, okay? So wala siya mo and uh, yeah, wala siya mo mo send kaning wala pa siya mo mo well, take note that this DNA in eukaryotic cells is um, packaged in a nucleus, okay? Di pack package siya sa nucleus and ang itsura niya sa nucleus ang kaning gitawag na tong DNA molecule is mo siya og thread muna siya o bead, kanabitang beads kanabitang oh, kanang sa rosary if you are familiar with the rosary so inana siya ang string and then naasay mga beads so you can see that one in uh, figure 3.5 that's the micrograph of chromatin as it begins to coil okay so string na siya muna siya thread nga gilukot sulod sa nucleus so giprotect siya sa nucleus okay so during S phase during S phase okay nahitabo ni siya sa sulod sa uh, ang S phase ang synthesis phase nahitabo siya sulod sa nucleus nga gidouble niya ang tanan nga genetic content inside the nucleus okay so um, let's go to the M phase or the mitotic phase okay so uh, mitotic mitotic mitosis takes place after the interface or when cells are logistically ready to equally split into two Okay, so matong uh, assuming uh, everything's fine, uh, double na ang tanan, then mitosis will proceed. Okay, so it was first described by uh, Fleming in the late 1800s. Okay, so mitosis is highly precise and regulated. So even though nga nga kanabitong ginagmay microscopic ng atong cells, but the activities itself 
ang events itself during mitosis or during cell division as a whole is highly regulated monitored na siya okay dili lang na magpataka og og divide dili lang na siya magpataka og double okay because there are limitations and there might there must be regulations needed to be observed uh, by the cell aron walay problema ang resulting cells after the cell division okay so fleming observed in his primitive light microscope that structures in the nucleus which he named chromatin do not have a cons consistency in appearance some are thread like okay so fleming termed this as mitosin while others are compacted so nakita ni ni fleming nga nganong dili man siya parehas og length or sizes nganong nag change change man ang morphology sa genetic material uh, during cell division so mao na ang nakapa ni, ni ni fleming okay so in his investigations fleming conducted that chromatins undergo series of reversible changes within the cells okay so take note nga reversible mag kana bitaw ma bilo bilo okay so may bilo bilo or yeah re, mo reverse ya yeah. i don't know say kuna na ma reversible okay so uh, today we understand that fleming was able to describe the different phases of cell cycle specifically mitosis and interphase okay so during the earlier part of the interphase which can last two years chromatin is loosely compacted that is similar to a thread this situation provides the cell enough space to duplicate a copy of the DNA. So, this is the purpose why ang mga chromatin must, or ang atong DNA must be uh, loosened. Okay? So, loose ang iyang arrangement inside the nucleus because ang kana magod nga, nga pagkaloos sa DNA, that can make the duplication of the DNA possible. So, uh, in topic number 4, we will discuss how the, the significance nga nung dapat loosen ang DNA uh, for and, and make the duplication of DNA possible. So, ato ana siyang discussan. Okay, so um, what else? So, this is where provides the cell enough space to duplicate a copy of the DNA. However, before the onset of the first phase of mitosis, these chromosomal duplicates will begin to compact. Okay, so Take note nga, nga sa during sa interface is dapat gidouble siya. So, after S phase, after S phase is that uh, since double naman siya and then humanapod ang final final nga kuan, final nga doubling of the molecules sa G2 phase. Okay? DNA, if, if needed na for the cells to divide, this thread-like configuration of the DNA will uh, change into a more compact na state. Okay? So, may himo na siyang compact mo. Sige na siya og coil. Take a look at um, kaning figures 3.5 and 3.6. So, makita ninyo din ha, nga mura na siya yung mura og beads. Okay? Kanabitang sa rosary. Okay? Makita na to na din ha, nga kining mga beads is kaning ginaw na to as histones. These are actually proteins. Um, Isa ni siya, ang, this is the first step. Okay, this is the first step nga mukoil ang DNA. Kaya nga naman, marabitaw siya o kanang gituyok. Okay, if naan ni siyang histone, gituyok ni mo ang string sa histone. Okay, gituyok ni mo ang string or ang thread sa DNA sa histone. Okay, so hangtod na nga, nga kaning daghang kayong histone, Okay, sa sige ni mo, kung bantayan ni mo, if, if, you, if you coil man good a thread, okay, the more you coil, the shorter ang iyahang length. Okay, so the more you coil, the short, sh shorter ang iyang length. And since there are literally thousands of histones in one linear DNA, so uh, you can say nga at this time is nagkahinahinay na og shorten ang um, length sa DNA. Okay, so... This this can actually interface can actually last for years depending na siya sa type sa cell and the need of the cell kung kano siya mag divide okay so however before the onset of the first phase of mitosis this chromosomal duplicates will begin to compact via proteins known as histones and it is glued together by a protein known as cohesin so this leads to the iconic 
X appearance of the chromosomes. Okay? So, kana siya. So, uh, the more nga magsigig coil, and then ang mga histones na pod is, mo-coil na pod ang mga histones. Okay? So, kani siya from DNA to histones, histones to histones, and some more histones, and then they are, uh, kana yung gi, 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 glue sila sa another specialized protein known as cohesin. Okay, so gigluning mga histones together hangtod nga magka-compact, magka-compact, magka-compact up to the point nga compacted na nga, fully compacted siya din na nato makita ang iconic nga kanawitang murag X appearance of chromosomes do dili tanan nga mga chromosomes ang na X nga appearance However, most of these chromosomes hinani ang ihang appearance when fully compacted So, thus the appearance of extensively Compact chromosomes in cells distinguish the interface from the mitotic phase. So, mao ni ang nakita ni Fleming. Okay, so take note ha nga, nang nakita ni Fleming, nga nung na thread-like structure, nga nung na po ang DNA later on is, mahimo na po siyang highly coiled. Kay, um, what differs the interface from the mitosis is that, ang um, kaning mitosis is, na ana siya ay compact, compact na ang kaning mga chromosomes. Now, take note nga, sa pag-compact, sa pag hinay o compact sa mga chromosomes sa cell, okay, gradually, the nuclear envelope and the nucleus itself will start to disintegrate. May nahinay po ni siya. So, the more nga magka-compact ang, ang chromosome or ang chromatin, the more nga magka-compact ni siya, the more po nga nagkawala ang nucleus and <clears throat> so that's the appearance okay that's the appearance of extensively compact chromosomes in cells distinguished the interface from the mitotic phase so condensin this is another protein is a protein that is known to be responsible for the chromatin chromatins tightly compacted and coiled so, take note ha, nga tightly compacted and coiled na siya. However, ni baga na siya. So, this is similar sa kanibitong thread na to. Kaning uh, tanod na nasa tuwang balay. Okay? So, um, if ever, nga dili na na to i-tuyok sa kanang gitaw na to spool. S-P-O-O-L. Okay? Magkagubot na siya and then taas kay na siya pero nipis. However, Kung ato na siyang ituyok sa spool or any ka ng stick na itong gigamit, okay? Daw mubo siya pero compacted siya. That's exactly how DNA is being coiled or compacted to form structures known as chromosomes. Okay? So, when chromosomes are tightly coiled, the cell will progress farther into dividing itself. Okay? So, take note that the position of these chromosomes, kaning tightly coiled DNA, kaning chromosomes, will tell you kung unsa siya nga phase sa mitosis. Okay, so when chromosomes are tightly called, the cell will progress further into dividing itself. So the following are the different phases of chroma <coughs> of mitosis. So the first phase is the prophase. So um, in prophase, it is characterized by the coiling of chromosomes via the recruitment of condensin. Okay, so katong condensin. So, so, if ever nga, wala lang yung arrangement and then start na siya o coil, you'd fully coil. <coughs> Maunang gitawag na itong prophase. And then, spindle fibers begin to form. So, uh, kinsa may nag-form nag anong spindle fibers, it's actually the kaning area sa centrioles. So, centrioles start to move opposite each other. So, recall... You have to remember nga sa ito ang topic number 2 that centrioles are in pairs. Okay? So, during prophase, the first phase sa uh, mitosis is that as centrioles move apart or move away from each other to the opposite um, corners, they also tend to form spindle fibers. So, these spindle fibers are actually um, protein by nature. Okay? So, ni move na siya opposite, kina siya opposite against each other. Okay? So, kina siya. So, that's, that's the, those are the main characteristics or features of prophase. So, after prophase, so, kato, so, after prophase is na ay prometaphase. Okay? So, this is actually uh, subphase na siya. Okay? 
Okay, so when you talk about prometaphase, this is the abrupt fragmentation and disappearance of the nuclear envelope. Okay, so kana siya, abrupt na ni siya, <clears throat> mawala na yun totally ang kaning um, nuclear envelope. Now, what is the what is the purpose nga nung, nga nung mawala ang nuclear envelope? This is because this is to give room for the bulking uh, chromosome to move and it, it will make possible nga nga ma-separate ang duha ka chromosome. Okay? <clears throat> Kaya siya, ma-separate ang duha ka chromosome. So, the breaking down of the nuclear envelope give, gives way for the assembly of the spindle fiber. At the same time, its attachment to the kinito core. So, this also provides movement for the spindle fiber, especially in animal cells, whose centrosome or region were centrioles and the assembly site of tubule information in spindle fibers is outside the nucleus. Okay, so these microtubules of the spindle fiber lengthen as more and more tubulin are added. So, mauto ang microtubule kana sa spindle fiber. So, unsa on pag lengthen ana is uh, there will be additional units of tubulin. Okay, so mag add lang na siya, mag add hangtud nga mutaas ang spindle fiber. It then seek for the kinito core. So, what is this kinito core? This is the attachment site of the spindle fiber in the chromosome. So, I think you are already familiar with the structure of chromosome. Okay, so, ang kanag yung point of attachment niya. So, that's what we call the kinito core. Okay, so note that spindle fibers attach to the side of the chromatid that favors their direction. Take a look at uh, figure 3.7 there. Okay, so in your figure 3.7, that's the structure of a chromosome. Okay, so the microtubule are attached to the side of the chromosome kung asa sila ni Faber. And then take a look at the centrosome. Okay, kana siya. So once attached to their respective chromatids, the spindle fibers, microtubules attempt to pull apart the sister chromatids uh, similar to a tug of war. Okay, so maginahina na ni Bira ang kaning mga microtubules sa kaning chromatin. Okay, nga kanibitang murag ng tag of war. Okay, however, the chromatids are not yet separated due to the action of cohesin. <coughs> so, take a look at cohesin there. Okay, kanang colored green nga nasa tunga sa duha ka chromosome. So, kana siya. <coughs> so, ang aim, the aim of the microtubule is to pull apart or to overpower the the attachment power or the attachment capacity of the cohesin. So, mo na ilahang ilahang goal. Okay? <coughs> so, that's prometaphase. <coughs> so, mo na ang nahitabo sa prometaphase. That's the attachment now of the spindle fiber sa kineto core. Okay? So, it continues. Ang kaning mga chromosome, it will continue to travel. Okay, it will continue to travel towards the centermost of the centermost plane of the cell. So once nga moabot sa the centermost por portion of the cell, it is now under another phase which is known as metaphase. So during metaphase, <coughs> chromosomes will assume its most compacted state. Okay, so meaning to say, as these chromosomes travel towards the centermost plane of the cell. Okay, it continues to compact. Okay, so the chromosomes centromeres or the centromost region are aligned at the center of the cell known as the equator. Okay, so in experimental cell biology, this phase can be arrested. Kaning dinar kataman sa kaning center. Pwede kang ma-arrest meaning to say, pwede mong mapastop ang process during metaphase that is for experimental cell biology and what else so chromosomes are known to have stopped moving in this phase okay ang ilahang goal sa kaning gitawag natog metaphase is to allow these chromosomes to align at the equator okay kaning equator kaning centermost part of the cell so cells will then check whether spindle fibers are firmly attached to their respective kinito core so, na ako'y checking. So, only those cells that have firm microtubule chromatid attachment will proceed to the next phase. So, take a look at this one. This is very interesting. Only those cells that have firm 
microtubule chromatoid attachment will proceed to the next phase. So, meaning to say, um, requirement ang kaning pagka firmly at firm attachment of this microtubule to the chromatid before niya i papul okay so ginasecure na niya nga insakto ang pagka-attach sa microtubules towards the the centromere okay so what else take a look at uh, figures 3.8 so during metaphase chromosome centrosomes are aligned at the region known as the metaphase plate or the equator Okay, so mauna ang iyahang karakmasan. Take a look at the centrioles there. The centrioles are now at the opposite nga ends. Okay, and their spindle fibers are attaching sa chromatid or the chromosome kung asa favor sa ilaha. Okay, so after nga nag-align na sila din ha, anaphase will follow. So anaphase, ang kaning anaphase is characterized by the abrupt separation of the sister chromatid. Okay, so sudden uh, pagka separation sa sister chromatids. So now take note nga na akay cohesin. Okay, take note nga na akay cohesin sa katong mga protein that um, firmly attaches the two sister chromatids together. However, there is this enzyme known as um, asarato separates okay the enzyme that uh, known as separates will cause the degradation of the microtubule resulting to its decrease in length okay so take note also nga um ang kaning microtubule di ba atong dimension nga ang kaning tubulin okay sige na siya pile up sige na siya pile up mauna nga mo lengthen ang iyahang mo lengthen ang iyahang iyahang iya mo mataas iyahang length okay so microtubule because of the the accumulation of tubulin units ang tunga magkataas siya. Now, the action of this separase, kaning enzyme known as separase, this is another protein, is modigrade ang microtubule. So, what's ka modigrade ang microtubule is that mo shorten ang iyahang, mo ragtiyag tangtanga siya o mga units, so mo shorten ang iyahang length. And, if mo shorten ang iyahang length, is that it forces or it pulls the the, the two sister chromatids apart. Thus, iyaha pong um, murag i-override niya ang kaning pooling sa kaning kaning continue nga nag-continue og shorten nga microtubule ang iyang pooling kaning iyang force will overpower or will yeah, mo overpower or override niya ang action sa cohesin therefore mas separate siya okay so as the length of microtubules continually decreases it will pull apart the sister chromatids towards the opposite pole or towards the centrioles kung asa sila favorable. Okay, so failure of microtubules to separate the chromatids can result to aneuploidy or the condition in which cells can either have more or less chromosomes in a cell. So, natay ka nang inana. So, even though nga gina-check na nga madobo siya, there are, there are just instances there are just instances that the um, microtubule fails to pull or to separate um, the chromatids apart. So, failure to do so may result nga kung wala niya ma, ma pull apart na isa kas na isa kas di ba? Duha man siya kasal. So, kung may tabo ni siya kay two <coughs> uh, kaning daughter cells man so, kung may tabo ni siya one cell may have more um, chromosomes and the other cell can have lesser mga chromosomes. So, that is what we call as a neoploidy. Okay? So, uh, supposing uh, na, na pull apart totally ang katong tanan ng mga, ng mga sister chromatids, then mo proceed na siya sa <coughs> next phase. So, ang ana phase is characterized by the pulling apart or the separation of the sister chromatids by the pulling action of the microtubule. Okay? So, kana sa, ang separase mo ay nakapash uh, shorten sa length niya. Okay, so after anang pulling sa sister chromatids, then um, follow da yun ang telophase and cytokinesis. So, when chromatids reach their respective poles, it marks the start of telophase. Okay, so what is this telophase? Ang telophase is since nga na divide na, na totally divide na ang, or distributed na ang duha ka mga cells, 
okay or katong mga contents specifically ang yung genetic makeup then ang katong imuhang chromosome nga tightly coiled during prophase metaphase and anaphase in telophase ang katong tightly coiled chromosomes will start to loosen okay mo loosen na siya mo uncoil na siya and then another thing is mo hinahinay na og reappear ang nuclear envelope and ang kaning nuclear envelope as it uh, progresses nga mo uh, reappear siya it will enclose now the newly separated or newly cloned nga nga cell okay so chromosomes begin to uncoil and loosen back to its inter interface state so take note nga mo loosen siya into interface state katong thread like ang iyahang configuration so in the cell membrane a cleavage furrow appears Okay, so cleavage furrow mo rin siya o kanabitaw <coughs> na ay gamay nga depression sa, sa cell membrane hangtod nga magkadako, magkadako until that will totally separate the cell. Okay, manikita ko cleavage furrow. As this furrow progresses, it will ultimately separate the two daughter cells. This is now known as cytokinesis. Okay, cytokinesis is now the separation of the two daughter cells. Now, uh, before we proceed sa meiosis, uh, take note nga uh, ang mitosis is iyahang giritain ang number of chromosome. Okay? So, diploid ang gihapon ang, ang cells. Ani. Okay? Diploid ang gihapon ang cells. Meaning to say clone. So, kung unsa ang, ang cell number 1, ang cell number 2 is the same with that of cell number 1. Content-wise and genetic-wise. Okay? So, kana siya. So that's uh, uh, meiosis, uh, mitosis. Okay, so from one mother cell, okay, it divides into two daughter cells, retaining the number of chromosomes. Okay, so let's proceed with meiosis, the second type of cell division. So in meiosis, only those that are gametes, okay, gamit ng mga cells, ang pwede mo undergo of meiosis. So what are gametes? These are the sex cells in the body. So when you say sex cells, they are the cells that participate in a reproductive process. Okay, so what are the sex cells? These are now the sperm in males and the egg cell in females. Okay, so sexually reproducing organisms has more advantage than those that reproduce asexually. This is because of the new combination of genes that are inherited by the offspring from their parents. So one of the the reasons nga nung ay variations or varieties sa, dif sa, sa Osaka species is because of meiosis okay for instance na kay dog kaning mga dog breeds pwedeng daghan ng variation okay there are more than dif 200 different breeds okay so even in in humans na atay different variations na ay caucasians na ay Asians di ba? so kaning ang mga variations even sa among Asians is na ay uh, different variations kanabito ang makita ni mga na ay difference ang Koreans from Vietnams Vietnams to Japanese, Japanese to Malaysians Malaysians to Filipinos I mean these variations, these variants are actually um, caused by meiosis, nga naman because there is this mixing of genetic content which could not be seen or which is not evident in mitosis. Take note na that in mitosis, walay mixing of genes. Mato katong gimension na to sa mitosis, that mitosis only rely on mutation for a new genetic recombina recombination. However, in meiosis, it is normal for genes to be recombined. Okay? So, in nature, ang katong mga sexually producing organisms, mas na apay chance or tendency na makasurvive. Okay? Kay it is not really good it is not really good nga ang kanibitong genetically speaking siya, it is not really good nga nga magdugay ang combination sa usa ka genes sa sa, sa kanibitong sa isa ka population it should be recombined and recombined and recombined okay to have a new genetic combination okay so this prog this process ang kaning meiosis is only true to gametes katong dimension in most multicellular organisms and is highly regulated. So, still regulated than yung kihapon siya. So, unlike mitosis, meiosis is a slower type of cell division. Now, mitosis man God, in, in most cases, mitosis, even though nga pwede siyang ma-arrest, say for example, sa, may, sa 
metaphase o sa G0 phase, pwede siyang i-arrest for longer periods of time. But usually, ang mitosis will happen within 24 hours. Okay? So, kana siya. However, meiosis is slower and longer ang iyang process. Okay? So, it can take years. Okay? It can take years. So, you can just imagine ang, ang meiosis sa, sa mga babae, sa mga females, is gikan sa womb hangtod mo reactivate siya makomplete ta siya ang meiosis during uh, puberty okay so hinana siya ang ang gap or ang kanang time frame nga pwede siyang mo stop ang meiosis so this genetic recombination is made possible through a type of cell division known as hence each cell formed after meiosis is genetically unique okay so uh, i-compare na to ang mga daughter cells sa meiosis o sa mitosis, ang mitosis are clones, meaning to say they have the same copies of genes, okay, take note ha mitosis, ang mga daughter cells sa mitosis are clones meaning they have the same set of genes, walay kapares mo carbon copy yun, but in meiosis, ang iyahang genes, or ang kaning mga daughter cells, have recombined genes So, each cell that are formed in um, meiosis, in the meiotic process, is unique. Okay? Every cell, unique yun siya. Okay? So, <clears throat> what else? Meiosis is then responsible for variations among different species in the environment. Meiosis is also a reductional type of cell division. This means at the end of the meiotic process, cell's genetic content is reduced into half. There are also four daughter cells that are produced compared to two cells in mitosis. So, kung i-compare ni mo, ang um, meiosis, meiosis ha- will end with four cells that are um, haploid and then ang um, mitosis are two cells that are diploid. Okay? So, thus at the end of meiosis, it will produce four haploid daughter cells. So, the process of meiosis is also subdivided into two. Number one is meiosis one, and the other is meiosis two. In meiosis one, so um, similar ni ang iyang pag-onset ani ang meiosis one ha sa sa prophase one particular na po tay prophase one sa meiosis one similar ang process where ang ang thread sa DNA mo start siya o coil, okay? Mo start siya coil. So when condensed, a tetrad kini lang dinhi na siya ni ni differ. Kay, um, take note sa mitosis, sa prophase sa mitosis, what is being formed is katong murag X nga, kanamitang X nga structure sa chromosome. Now, take note nga, ang kaning duha ka arms, okay, duha ka side, they are of the same copy. Okay? Sister chromo- chromosome, uh, sister chromatids na natong tawag. So, sister chromatids, kaning duha ka sister chromatids will form chromosomes. However, In meiosis 1, particular in prophase 1, there is a formation of tetrad. Okay? So, tetrad. So, homologous chromosomes. What are tetrads? Okay? These are two homologous chromosomes that are different chromosomes that have similar size, position of the, uh, in position of the centromere, among other similarities. So, form. Okay? Ang kanigitawag natong tetrad. And this tetrad is... Uh, you can find it in figure 3.10 mao na ang mahitabo na to ang tetrad so makita ni mo sa figure you can see there sa figure 2.10 that we have two homologous chromosomes the red and the blue okay the red and the blue one the blue chromosomes so what else so the most significant event in prophys 1 is the recombination of genes among tetrads this is known as the crossing over So, the crossing over will occur at the site where the homologous chromosomes attach. So, the attachment site where crossing over takes place is known as the chiasmata. Chiasmata are traced to be essential for an accurate meiosis. So, take a look at what what's happening in uh, kaning sa tetrad formation. Okay? So, uh, one side of the chromosome, one side of the pair of chromosome is more siya og nagtinandayay. Okay, so na actually overlap and then nag-attach la. So there is this attachment point na yung nag-attach nila known as chiasmata. Okay? So 
this crossing over is significant because in the Kayasmata or in the region where uh, attached nila is mahitabo ang exchanging of uh, genetic uh, sequence between the two different chromosomes. Okay? So, makita na to nga, take a look at sa balik sa, sa figure 3.10 nga sa kayas mata, what result, the, the resulting uh, the result of the crossing over is that ang isa ka chromosome will now have chromosomes from another chromosome. Okay? So, muna siya ang gitawag na tong crossing over. And this crossing over is the one that is responsible for the varieties that we can see in nature. That is why in meiosis, this is perhaps the most important na event in meiosis. Kay it can cause varieties, especially kung dinaghan na ang mga offspring sa mga parent, uh, parent ng mga, mga sa mga parents, sa mga offspring. Okay? So, mauna siya ang prophase 1. Uh, let's go to metaphase 1. So, ang metaphase 1 is that uh, similar sa katong kuan sa, sa prophase sa mitosis. However, ang kung ang sa mitosis, ang muad to sa, sa plate or sa equator, sa cellular equator, mito, mitotic equator is sister chromatids. Sa metaphase 1, what will align at the center are the um, homologous chromosomes. Okay? So, the kinuto core of the homologous chromosomes aligned at the equator of the cells. And microtubules, uh, similar sa innovation, instead of attaching uh, instead of attaching to the uh, kinuto core, okay, ni-attach sila dito sa um, ay, sa, sa kinuto core sa each homolog. Sa, sa homolog kaning uh, individual nga homologous chromosome. Okay, so that's the metaphase 1. So in meta, uh, yeah, metaphase 1, in anaphase 1, the homologous pairs are separated by the shortening of the microtubules. So similar mechanism, so mo shorten ang tubulin. Okay, and then katung via the separase nga enzyme. So the separated pairs move to the opposite poles of the cells where the centrioles are located. The separated pairs now contain the recombinant genes. When homologous chromosomes are not separated, it is known it is known as non-disjunction and is a major cause cause of <coughs> aneuploidy. Okay, so <coughs> similar sa mitosis nga dapat yun mag-separate ang duha ka uh, homologous chromosomes. Okay, so in humans, the frequency of aneuploidy increases with age. So take note that um, kaning gitawag na itong mga trisomy, cases of trisomy. This is actually one uh, result sa aneuploidy. That is why kana bitong uh, kay gingon, gingon din hinga, in humans the frequency of aneuploidy increases with age. That is why kanang kan bitong uh, tagdugay maminyo ang lalaki babay. Okay? Taas kayo ang chance anak nila nga na ay try sumi mahitabo sa ilahang offspring during sa meiosis. Okay? So, kana siya. So, makita na to nga murag a little risky. Makaingon uh, nagi mga advices nga little risky na for uh, trisomy nga more result ang trisomy ang mga kids kung late na nga mga anak. Okay? So, kana siya. So, mga, mga ladies and gentlemen, you have now an idea kung hmm, nga dili ta magpa-late. Okay? Do, dili po ingon nga sayo, dili po ingon nga late nga kung namun may plano nga magka-baby. Okay? <coughs> so, take a look at figure 3.11. So, as this sister, not sister, but as these homologous chromosomes are separated, uh, they bring with them their recombined ng mga genes. So, take a look at the blue um, chromosome there. It already uh, it already has kaning red ng sequence or red ng section sa isa ka, sa iyang kahomolog. Okay? So, what else? In telophase 1 and cytokinesis, in telophase 1, the sister chromatids begin to loosen and uncoil, similar to mitosis. Okay? And genetic content is reduced into half, yet containing the recombined genes. 
So nuclear envelope starts to reappear and cleavage furrow progresses until until two cells completely separate. And in some instances, meiosis 1 is arrested here. Okay, so gina-arrest niya ang meiosis 1 din here. Siya, taman ang meiosis 1. Okay, so mo-reappear mo, mo na ang nuclear envelope and then it will um, secure the genetic material. Okay, so pwede siya nga kanigitawag na itong i-arrest. Okay, so pwede siya nga meiosis 1 lang siya taman. For example, mga danis, kanibitawag sa mga ladies, in particular with the ladies. Okay, now, um, siguro mga uh, fetus pa, fetus pa ang mga uh, mga ladies na to is that sa ilang ovary is nag meiosis 1 na na. Okay? Nag complete complete na na ilang meiosis 1. Now, uh, it will be arrested. Okay? Dili pa na mo proceed into meiosis 2. Okay? So, uh, mga anak hangtod maanak ang mga bata hangtod nga mudako mudako mudako. Arrested lang gihapon ang ang meiosis 1. Okay? Dili na gihapon sila taman. However, ang meiosis 2 will only um restart, mo restart ang meiotic process or mo start ang meiosis 2 when ang mga babae is mo start na sila sa ilahang puberty nga age. Okay? So, din ha makumplito ang meiosis 2. So, you can see that there is this kung dugon ang mga babae around 11 or 12 years or uh, 10 to 11 or 12 or 13 years nga pagka-arrest sa meiosis meiosis 1 before ni proceed ang meiosis 2. Okay? So, in meiosis 2, cells from meiosis 1 enter meiosis 2 without undergoing the events of interface. Thus, cells do not duplicate their DNA. Okay? So, there's no need for cells to uh, synthesize DNA. Because, take note nga sa, sa interface, there is this S phase, diba? There is this S phase nga mo double ang amount of genetic material. But, in meiosis 2, is wala na doubling of genetic material. So, remember that at the end of meiosis 1, there are two daughter cells that will proceed to, to meiosis 2. So, duha mga daughter cells and then, mo proceed pag yun sa meiosis 2, then, mauna nga, mo expect na nga, um, there will be four daughter cells all in all at the end of meiosis. So, usa ka cell na asa, isa ka cell. So, at the end of meiosis na ay four daughter cells. So, it follows similar activities in meiosis 1 except for DNA. So, ganun except for DNA man. Okay, since wala na ang homologous chromosome, okay, so therefore, wala na crossing over, wala na yung kayasmata. So, what aligned at the center, okay, take nota, what aligned at the center are the sister chromatids. Okay, so sister chromatids na ang nag-align at the center. And then, uh, uh, din sa, take a look at uh, meiosis 2, uh, sister chromatids na aligned at the center together with the recombined genes. Okay? Together with the recombined genes. So, yun siya. So, wala ay, wala na ay, wala na ay crossing over nga mahitabo. So, nuclear envelope breaks down in prophase 2. In metaphase 2, sister chromatids with recombined genes aligned at the center of the equator with spindle fibers attaching to each kinetopore. And in anaphase 2, it pulls apart the sister chromatids towards the op opposite poles. And in telophase 2, it starts to uncoil the chromatids into its thread-like state. And nuclear envelope reappears and cleavage furrow progresses. Since meios meiosis 2 started with two cells, then it will end with four daughter cells with reduced genetic content. Okay, take note hanga ni reduce na yahang genetic content. So you can compare the events, okay? Uh, ma compare ni mga events between meiosis 1 and meiosis 2 in figures 3.11 and 3.14 okay ang yahang particularly ang yahang chromosomal activities okay so kana siya so in figure 3.12 you can see the difference between me uh, metaphase 1 and metaphase 2 so in metaphase 1 what aligned at the equator are the homologous chromosomes However, in metaphase 2, what aligned are the sister chromatids. Okay. So, what else? In figure 3.13, in anaphase 2, <coughs> sister chromatids with swapped region of the genes are pulled apart by the spindle fiber. Okay. So, spindle fiber, similar fashion sa um, anaphase in mitosis. Okay. So, to sum up, Figure, in figure 3.16, the, uh, this is not a summary by the way. 
In figure 3.16, non-disjunction appears when sister chromatids fail to separate during anaphase in human. In human gametes, non-disjunction may result to trisomy, which is a form of a large-scale mutation. And non-disjunction can also happen in somatic cells. Okay, so tanawang ng disjunction in meiosis 1. So in meiosis 1, wala mapul apart ang red ug ang blue ng mga homologous chromosome. It fails to separate. That's why at the end, at the end, take a look at it one. Instead of having 46 chromosomes, number niya is 47, 47. Ang isak is 45, 45. Instead nga, tag 46. Uh, yeah, tag 46. That's in meiosis 1. And in meiosis 2, kung in meiosis 2, kung naay na ay uh, non-disjunction na mahitabo, take a look at um, kanin sa red o sa blue. Okay, so in meiosis 2, ang red is ni totally separate, 23, 23, kay haploid naman, and na ay disjunction na nahitabo sa blue na chromosome. So, sa blue na chromosome, na extra chromosome, okay, Ma pero mauna, instead of 23, kaya na may extra, nahimu siyang 24, that is not normal. And, Ang isa niya ka-pair, kay di ba duha man na siya ka sa isa ka-cell, is nahimo siyang 22. Okay? So, lesser ang iyahang, iyahang genetic content. Okay? So, before we end, kindly check yourself whether you can identify the different phases of interface, whether you can identify the different phases of mitosis, and whether you can differentiate meiosis 1 and meiosis 2. Okay? So, again, this is Edward Opena. Thank you for listening. I hope you will study this lesson. Okay, so this is Edward Opena, your course instructor for cell and molecular biology. This is topic 3, cell cycle. Okay, so until next uh, topic, see you again and God bless us all.